Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Korea, where we are primarily going for the Turtles All the Way Down achievement. We've picked up a number along the way, and we still hope to get a couple more. Particularly, live long and prosper, and absolutely. Those are the two we hope to get, in addition to the Turtles all, all the Way Down. Potentially we could also Siege down Berlin, or I think it's called bring down this wall. Break down this wall. Something to that effect. Tear down this wall, probably. Tear down this wall. It's a reference to yeah. Tear down this wall. It's a reference to uh, what Reagan had said to Gorbachev. Yep. Those are really the only two that we could pick up in addition to drills all the way down and possibly tear down this wall. So those are our three options. As always, dismissing that invitation to convert as we would much rather harmonize than anything else. So that's going to be what we try to do. Confucian, uh, we don't have any immediate goals, so I'm just going to unpause it. Did kind of want to get Theravade in. So let's see where the weak link is. Ayutai is our friend. Could go in there. I don't want to beat up on anyone who's in a coalition against Bomanis. Psy, I don't have any friends, Psy. But you've already converted all this stuff. So that's not going to help us. Maybe we could get it just to get it. We're just waiting for this guy to reach age 70 if that's possible. I'm not sure that this is actually protecting anything any longer, so I'm going to get rid of that fort. And we've got some lazy diplomats. One per Yeah, let's do that for now. 80. Oh, big war there. Okay, so there is some sort of conflict going on in Europe involving Bohemia. And we could potentially get involved if we'd like to lay siege Berlin and to bring down that wall. So they're fighting against Tyrone, Haiti, and Columbia. Could we potentially... Oh, look at that Yark hand. Good for them. Could potentially sell off an army to one of those Kandatieri. Hades. Nope, they don't like us much. Okay, doesn't really look like it. Yeah, I mean, that one... Might be, might be better done as a European power. But let's see if there's somebody that we can beat up on in Europe. I have a look to them because we don't really get along with them much. And Castile. Castile wouldn't really be able to help them. That's a one province minor being sieged out. Might not have that option. So Russia. Maybe we could just declare war on Russia. Take some coastal stuff from them up here. Let's see what Russia's working with as an army. 91k. And let me just check, make sure everything's recording fine. It seems to be. 
Is there anyone easier to snipe off than that? Brittany, perhaps. That's a lot closer. Only allied to Ottawa, and they already don't like us. Is our capital right there? It is with a tiny little fort. Yeah, let's let's get involved in European politics. So I can just check for a fleet in the smart way. There we are. Got these guys upgraded. I'm going to take 65 units of troops over there. That's what our proper front line is supposed to be at this point. F up to 38. Just set this up to 36, and then with the cavalry, they have slightly more than we need. Actually, let's go to 38. That'd be uh, 42, 50 total. So that's 54, 56. I might as well go up to 60. Actually, very little reason not to go up to 64. One second here, I'm going to take a drink. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's something starting to get lodged in my throat. Bits of protein bar or something. Uncle, such a disappointment over here. Let's check to see how their economy is doing. We'll just go through each one from the top to the bottom. And I can tell that the problem with people that have a lot of gold, colonial subjects have gold, uh, being unable to accurately count how much money they have seems to persist. Hopefully that's fixed in, in the 1.21 match as well. We'll find that out in the next run, which should probably start today or tomorrow. Well, I'll probably play a lot today. And get some of these I'll probably finish playing as Korea today. Probably get more than five videos and save some of them for upload tomorrow. Starting to suffer attrition, but we won't be here for very long. Um, yeah, let's get the ideas first. Now as we give our overlord his due. And as these points start to hit the cap, we'll start developing in California. Nice. At point we have shortage of at the moment. Now uh, one second here. So do what that was this. Yeah, Javanese is ten percent of our development in the States, and it should have stuff in Java. Now this will help our economy. Not that our economy is facing any problems. 
a nice 20k treasury. And we really can't do anything about that because the bug where making trips in colonial subjects is broken. So we could attack Scandinavia. It was formed by Denmark, or Adriana, which was Theravadan. Yeah, okay, I'll just let it convert. I don't care at all. And all we're interested in here is getting closer to Europe. That way, we could potentially get involved. And some of their conflicts and sell off Kandatieri to somebody that could potentially siege Berlin and tear down that wall. Okay, this guy is an Ayutthaya, so that's probably going to be the fastest of our diplomats to return home. This guy is all over, all the way over in South Korea. This guy is in Micmac, way up by North Korea. Wait till the first of the month. And France won't join in. Oh, it says that. I don't know if I trust it. I'm kind of suspicious of some of the tooltips currently. Finish that one off. Turn where else to go. Well, we could continue pushing through here. And the North Koreans seem to have that same idea. Okay, Ottawa is over here. Can't really get to them. We can let our colonial subjects get involved eventually. That's about what we're looking for. Let's go for this, hope for some military points, and we got them. Now, I should note, during the Age of Revolution, we could go higher in tariffs than we normally would be able to do, because that liberty desire gets pushed downward. We clearly don't need it for our economy. Get these guys some port for a month. Okay, let's see what they have. Tierra del Fuego. Yeah, we kind of want that. Might as well take that island. And then the one that we actually want. Take their money. And might as well take some more money. Leave them as one province, that way they'll actually accept our offer. And we'll just camouflage ourselves here. It's like, we're France, don't worry about it. And now we could potentially sell some Condottieri. 
Why, thank you. Obviously, 64k is more than we're going to be able to sell to anyone. But we could break the stack down into something smaller. Potentially, France might be... No, they're a rival. I don't think we can even sell it to them. So who are they fighting? The Scandinavia might be willing to take them. Yeah, Scandinavia, that's... I don't know exactly how many Kandatieri we could give them. Okay, maximum 20 units. And how many do we... How many cannons do we need to breach this wall? Something like 12. Let's give them a general. Like that guy. And wow, they would pay a lot of money for it. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And we can't put them on the ship. That looks like we can move through. Here. I just head straight through the HRE. That's kind of dangerous. It's just a lot of cannons and not very many infantry. Let's, um, we'll just go for the plus three again. Don't want to get involved in that fight, but it's good to see that Bohemia is being kept busy by France. Okay, do we want to suppress the rebels? That will give them some autonomy. Care about that at all? Don't mind us. And we don't have enough. Oh, we do. We do. <laughs> and there we have it. Tear down this wall. So, <laughs> we have used an artillery barrage on Berlin. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the steam overlay with OBS. So when I've watched some stuff in the past, it hasn't shown it. So, if I'm motioning towards this and you can't see when things pop up, uh, sorry about that. Alright, so... That was a fun one to take. Let's see what happens when Pomeranius troops... Oh, Just don't have enough infantry. So let's get these guys out of there. We've fought, we've blasted the walls. Let's help them up here. That's something we should be able to do. Oh, now, now they've... A lot more trips. Let's head back this way. And we'll just cancel that relationship and get these trips back home as soon as we can. I think we have to wait the first 18 months, at least 12 months before we're allowed to cancel that arrangement. Let's pull some of these guys out of here. Where's the question? Potentially to the the Yucatan. Or should we do it to North Korea? Ah, Yucatan. Uh, revoke him. In February, so yeah, one year. That's fine. Hopefully they'll be safe until then. They are 
rather fragile. Or could we actually just go somewhere crazy like down here? Uh, this is probably safer since we could pick them up by ship a little more easily from here. And they're at war with France, so they would have to fight their way through these forts. So that's about as safe as we can get them at the moment. And we're going to grab this other idea. We're almost there. Okay, admin points. Is anywhere that's good to develop? This stuff isn't super expensive to develop. This is only plus five. Be Chimash. This doesn't really cost us very much, so I guess we're doing it pretty much everywhere we can. Is that base tax everywhere in California. Feel free to insert in your California taxes. Joke of choice. And that's about as high as we can get them. Now we could dump some of this diplo power into here, particularly in the gold producing provinces. Let me do that. And that looks good for the moment. I just waiting for February, I believe it was. And we'll pull back these trips. Okay, we can purchase an ability, and I did want to bring down that Liberty Desire on the same continent. But VJ really doesn't have any Liberty Desire at the moment, and they're the only subject we have on our same continent. So I think instead we're going to get we want which of these artillery bonuses do we want and this one brings down forts but we got to survive until we get to the forts let's get our combat ability essentially of our cannons a little higher yeah next month get that cash and they'll be loyal again I did it when it was at 49.98 because sometimes the rounding errors won't actually ever hit 50. Yeah, we'll give you tip tribute. It's just 12 admin. Oh. Well, we might as well just keep it for a few more months if they're threatening to revoke it anyway. We're getting like 17 ducats per month, 25 mark points of each type, I'll take it. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Yeah, let's just revoke these guys. And let's get these guys over here. Then once they're present, all of our troops 
will merge them and split them in half. A National Bank The establishment of a bank has given us a reputation of seriousness and reliability. It has also allowed our government a much greater flexibility in raising funds for warfare. So, we lose 5 inflation. They rework this is why I'm reading it. So, either case, we get 50 admin points, nearly 4,000 ducats, lose 5 inflation. The question is, for the next 50 years, do we want a lowered interest or lowered inflation? We have no inflation, and we lose inflation per year. But we've got 26,000 ducats in the treasury. Are we really going to take loans? Probably not. So this lowered interest isn't really going to matter. I'm going to take the lowered inflation. Just in case it goes up. Some unexpected reason. So there's really not a whole lot more that we can accomplish. We have to wait for our ruler to get 16 years older. So I guess we could feed our colonies or something. Or prey upon Scandinavia. And get more of... a Vinland. Creek is a tributary state of Maine. That's that's great. And naval ideas. Let's go ahead and finish this idea off. And let me keep in our time. We're at 27 minutes, which is good because I think we're about ready to get an achievement. So we have plus 20% ship durability. We need 15% more from policies. This will be five of it. And, and 15. So turtles all the way down, unlocked. And there we have it. Let's Korea get 135% ship durability. So we could wait and try to get this to live long and prosper, or absolutely. And I think we do want absolutely. Question is, how long is it going to take us to get the necessary a government form? So we'd need Admin Tech 29 to get Enlightened Despotism. Now, when we conquer Creek, a gift to the state, we can get 700 ducats, almost 750 ducats, 10 prestige, or both, or 15 prestige. Let's go for both. Let's go for the well connected bonus. Now I'm going to have to start thinking about what the next game we're going to play is. Possibly the Dahomey one. Okay, Yazoo. Could also potentially play as Japan and try to get manufacturers as Japan by 1655. Explore some of the Japanese achievements, new mechanics for Shintoism, and so on. I'll have to take a look. Trying to fill in these places and push west. Gonna close off Siberia from Russia. 
And then we'll fill it in. Oh, that's why we shouldn't have gone up here. But we're making North Korea greater, so of course we have to do that. South Korean troops landing. They don't need this kind of doom stack here. So we'll split it in half. Wow, nice. It's like over a year's worth of tribute. Okay. Take all their stuff. Except for that. Okay, so that seems like a pretty good deal. I'll just leave these trips here for the moment until I figure out what we wish to do with them next. Okay. So the West Indies. Should this be Central Korea? We have a North and a South Korea. No, there's no joke value there. Well, anyway, I'm going to stop this video and I'll start up a new one in just a second and we'll name our subjects. Thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Korea.